Hello, welcome. I need to get a little information from you. How many people will be playing? The optimum number for play is three. How fortunate. Is this the first ride for any of you? Fantastic. Newcomers are always welcome. Yes, they are. And I'm sure you'll welcome the extra instructions we intend to give you during the game. Player one, may I have your name, please? Yes, thank you. Player two, you are next. Okay, that's fine. Player three, may I have your... Thanks a lot. Player one, your buzzer is the letter Q. Q as in quiz kids. Player two, you will buzz in by pressing down on the letter B. B as in bow, wow, wow. And last but not least, player three, you will be using the letter P as in phallic. I'm going to have to shut off the lights now. Don't worry, the fun's just about to begin. Time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by The Missionary Position for boring adults only. And now, here's your host, Guy Towers. Well, welcome, welcome. Well, it's a good thing you're the showering type because we've only just begun to get dirty. Baby, have we got a show for you. Yeah, I hope you're wearing loose fitting clothing. <laughs> Alrighty, first off, we gotta give you your screws. Alright, you is gonna get some screws, and here you go. Alright, now pay attention, and I'll tell you about a new and improved way to screw your neighbor. When you see a question you don't want to answer, buzz in immediately and start hitting the S key. Let's ask for screws. Now every time you do, you're gonna be firing screws into the screen, totally annihilating the question. When you're done blasting, then you force your friend to answer it. That's called screwing flakjack style. So, uh, if you're not the one dishing out the screws, you better be reading as fast as you can. Alright, I hope you got all that. Ready? Time for sex! All right, player two, buzz in and show us how much dinero is in the jackpot. Well, I shouldn't put this much up for grabs, but anybody as slow as you could use some help. Sex and the secret of nymph. Coming at you. Imagine you're not getting enough respect as a nympho, so you sign up for the nymph training program. Once you graduate, you become a dryad. What will your assignment be? Having lots of sex by the roadside, having lots of sex in the open. You go, player three. Dryads are wood nymphs, so you'll be having lots of sex in the forest. Hey, if a tree nymph has sex alone in the forest, does it make a sound? Ooh, guess so. All right, player three, buzz in and let's see the cash value. Good picking. All right, what do we got here? Sex advice for my friend. Okay, I got this friend, you know. It, it's not me. It really is a friend. Seriously. But he's having problems with premature ejaculation. Which of these techniques should I, I mean he, try? The pause squeeze method, the hunt and peck method, the stop, drop, and roll method, or the think of batting averages method? Take it, player two. Oh my god, it works! It really works! Oh, thank god! Freedom from embarrassment at last! <laughs> I mean, the pause squeeze method is the only real technique for treating premature ejaculation listed here. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Okay, player two, hit your buzzer and show us how to get ready for... This question is ribbed for your pleasure. And now, as part of our continuing sex education series, You Don't Know Jack presents Johnny's First Condom. Good afternoon, Mr. Guy. Why, hello, Johnny. What can I do for you? Well, gee, I, uh... Let me guess. I'll bet you're looking for a condom, aren't you? Gee, Mr. Guy, how'd you know? Well, you might not believe this, Johnny, but I was once a young man myself, and my hormones were raging out of control just like yours are now. Really? You betcha. Now, let's see here. Uh, hey, how about a nice stallion brand condom with a reservoir tip? Neato. How much do I owe you, Mr. Guy? Hey, first one's on the house, big fella. Fella. Gee, thanks, Mr. Guy. You're welcome, sport. Uh, Mr. Guy, I just have one question. Sure, Johnny, what is it? 
Uh, according to the Food and Drug Administration, what's the longest period of time I can keep this non-lubricated latex condom and still safely use it? Through the weekend, through the rest of the school year, through four years of college, or through the next decade? All yours, Player One. Hey, I think I might have a chance by the end of the school year. Not without a truckload of oxy, kid. Hey! I mean, don't worry, sport. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> hey, play player two! The FDA says not to use latex condoms more than five years past their manufacture date. So, Johnny, do you have any more questions about sex? Yeah, what's it like? Hey, tell me and we'll both know. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, get out of here, you rascal. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Guy. And use that condom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Horny bastard. Johnny's First Condom is a You Don't Know Jack About Sex Education production. Written and produced by Hugh Johnson. Technical consultant, Dr. Richard Long. Player two, hit that buzzer and let's see what you're going to be going for. All right, some good cash riding on this one. And the category is... Just lie back and relax. Okay, why don't you sit back and make yourself comfortable and buzz in when you can complete this analogy. Freud's couch is to getting psychoanalyzed as casting couches to what? Getting a roll, getting... Take it, player two! Freud's patients get psychoanalyzed on a couch, and actors get roles in exchange for sex on a casting couch. Man, I knew I should have gotten into the furniture business. Player two, hit your butt. This one will be... Boy, are my chucks numb. Hey, you ever notice how the titles of Steven Seagal's movies are usually three syllables, like marked for death and hard to kill? Well... Suppose Steven Seagal's latest movie is called Primal Scene. What will you most likely see his character doing? Having sex with 13 partners, having sex with cavemen, having sex with apes, or watching his parents have sex? Hit it, player one! The primal scene is what psychoanalysts call it when a child catches their parents, um, in flagrante delicto. Oh no, mommy and daddy are wrestling. <laughs> Player one, hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash for this one. Bingo. A lonely farmer and his dog, they played this little game. Oh, B-O-I-N-K, 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 they called it puppy love. Slip right in the boink. All right, here's a quick explanation of how this thing works. You're going to get a series of puzzles. When you figure out each answer, wait for the first letter of that answer to get highlighted. Then, buzz in. If you're right, I'll give you 500 bucks, and you collect that letter. But I'm taking away 500 every time you're wrong. Be the first one to collect all the letters, and you get the bonus. Got it? Well, I hope so, because here we go. Freud says this causes our basic urges. Get down on your knees! Nail! Sternum equals blank bone! Free blank agreement! Two. Blank of the living dead. 
player two. Hey, looks like player two's the one to catch here. Uh, let's do it. Player one, give me some buzzer. Let's check out that. This one's called Do That To Me 107 more times. Okay, 3,700 and some change if you can tell me this. When you and your partner do that special thing you do, at what point does the sex flush happen? When you dispose of the condom, when you play cards in bed, when your partner mentions feeling frisky, or when your skin turns red from excitement? Player two, grab it! Oh, yes! I want you to know it was very good for me. Let's go, player two. Buzz in and let's see how much cash we're paying for your viewing pleasure. For those about to f we salute you. Hey, you know how Butthead always wears that same ACDC t-shirt? Well, say Butthead actually gets tickets to an ACDC concert, and everyone there is also ACDC. How might he later describe the show to Beavis? I scored with, like, chicks and dudes. Hermaphrodites suck and stuff. I got spanked. Uh, uh. <laughs> or, doing it in an elevator is cool. Player 3, do it! All right, here comes the screw player too. Good dancer too. Let's see how you did. So then you must be a hermaphrodite. Come on, player one. ACDC is slang for bisexual. And with twice the possible sex partners, it's a good bet Butthead's gonna be shaking it all night long. All right, buzz in player one, and let's see how much cash. Nice pick, player one. Hey, players two and three, go play with yourselves. Player one's doing a diss or dad. The category for this diss or dad question is, is that foreplay or afterplay? All right, I'm going to read off seven partial words. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's a word that has four or after as its prefix. As each one appears, if it's a word that starts with four, press one. If it starts with after, press two. And if you're not sure, press four. You cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. So when the wire fills up, uh, you're out of time. And we're up. First, four or after. Zero out of seven. Great. That's really good. Why don't you lie down for a while? Let's look at the current standings. Hey, player two's in the lead. Okay. All right, player two. Buzz in and show us how much to Wow, big bucks. Nice. Well, the category is... The original political party animal. You know, one can't really have a meaningful talk about sex without talking about the Roman Emperor Caligula. Now can one. Considering how Caligula ran his government, what might you have said to convince him to give you a position of power? Is it sound one, sound two, sound three, or sound four? And the Hit it, player one! Caligula was so insane that he actually made his horse a political consultant. Oh god, the poor intern. Player one, hit your buzzer and see how much cash you can make. Ooh, stanky. No, oh, well, here's the category. Going down under. Now, Lord knows it gets lonely in the Australian outback. Well, say Crocodile Dundee finally submits to temptation and has sex with a koala bear. What should he expect from the experience? Euca Player two! Eucalyptus poisoning. Uh, eucalyptus breath, maybe. <laughs> Alright, player one. Player one. Got an 
answer at player three. What's the right answer? Choice two, huh? Okay, let's see. A strangely high percentage of koala bears suffer from the sexually transmitted disease chlamydia. You know, he should just go back to f***ing kangaroos. Well, player one, one good screw deserves another. Okay, player three, buzz in and set the cash value. Get ready for... Copperal punishment? Okay, player one, here's your chance to get above water. You know, show some dignity, okay? If your lover is really into coprolagnia, which exclamation would least likely upset him or her? Screw you and the horse you rode in on. Hey, like I give a crap. I wish you were dead or beat it. All yours, player one. A person into coprolagnia is sexually excited by so-called brown showers. You got it. Now wipe that shit eating grin off your face. Okay, player one, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. And each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing, not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Doesn't everybody have them? Don't forget, the match has to follow that clue. Good luck. Give me them final scores. <laughs> Player two. Tune in this week as five frosty finalists compete for the title of World's, World's Strongest, Strongest Snowman. Snowman. The crane is lowering the 200 pound corn cob pipe into Snowball Bob's mouth. It's in place. Oh, Snowball Bob just couldn't hang on to it. Okay, the coal truck is backed up right beside Mr. Shivers. And here comes the coal out of the dump chute. Oh, it looks like Mr. Shivers did not hold up very well. Carrot Nose will attempt to wrestle this polar bear. Ouch! The bear has taken a bite out of his carroty nose. He should have used a button. The world's strongest snowman competition. Are you snowman enough? Everyone, we have a guest today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, hello, my name's, uh... Hugh Rection. Mm, Mr. Rection, this is a safe environment. Tell us your full name. Fine, it's Hugh G. Rection, all right? But you know, I never use the G. Hi, Hugh G. Rection! Oh, hi! Hello, my name is Mike Hunt, and I'm one of thousands of people who've suffered through life with an unfortunate name. But finally, there's hope. 
thanks to Merkin Counseling Centers. When I first came to Merkin, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, it's always scary when I tell people my name is Ivana Tinkle, but I had no idea I'd be in a group with a Jack Meoff or a Buster Cherry um, my, or a My name is Lins. Harry Balsack. I'm Eileen Dover. I'm Eileen's husband, Ben Dover. Hugh Jazz. Hello, my name is Jacques Strap. Anita Get Laid. We're all equal. All of here. us are equal. Every one of us. IP Daily. I'm a hog. Howard M. Mellons. Jenny Talia. I'm Seymour Butts. Tara Hamstring? Dick Hurts. I own a dildo. Merkin Counseling Centers. If you have an unfortunate name, don't murder your parents. Get some help. This Friday, the Home Entertainment Channel brings you Catholic Confessions. Hear and see the deepest secrets of these faithful churchgoers through the use of hidden cameras in a confessional booth. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Could you please speak up and lean back?